You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Thornton's always a tough matchup. They're a very good team. Um, I think our, uh, our, we can match up with their guards. They have a couple bigs that could possibly give us some issues uh, on the interior part of the game. Warren Woods, they're tough. They're very talented. Warren Woods, they're starting to play. They're starting to play a good ball too. So it's going to be it's going to be a fun game. It's a rivalry game. We just got to handle the atmosphere. We got to be able to handle a tough road test. We just got to stay within ourselves. Don't try to do too much and just. Do what we do? Play defense. That's what we do. We have to, uh, you know, deny, you know, entry passes into the post and, and play with good weak side help. If we can execute those things, uh, that gives us a better opportunity to come out on top. It's gonna be, it's gonna be packed. It's gonna be a great atmosphere. We just gotta be able to. We got to be hyper, but we can't be too hyper. You can take whoever has a better record or a bad record, you can throw them out the window. Uh, these kids all grew up together, and they're going to play hard against each other. There's a lot of basketball pride on the line when these kids play each other. The Comcast Network proudly presents the CN100 Game of the Week tonight. We're south in South Holland for a key Southwest Suburban Red Conference matchup as the Thornwood Thunderbirds play host to the league-leading Thornton Wildcats. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone, and welcome inside Thornwood High School alongside my partner Cameron Smith, Mark Kruger. Delighted to have you with us. Eric Schmidt will be stopping by here in just a couple of moments. Well, Cameron, this is a, a great rivalry, one of these backyard brawls. Both of these schools in District 205, they've played against each other since elementary school. What a great environment to play basketball in tonight. Oh, Mark, it's going to be an energetic game tonight. Thornton versus Thornwood. It's going to be a great one. The fans are ready for this. We're ready for this one. Let's get it going. Let's talk about these Wildcats. What a great story. Ty Streets takes over for a retiring Troy Jackson. The Wildcats lose their first game of the season, but they've rattled off 11 straight, including a big win on Tuesday night against a very good Joliet West team. Well, this team has been a major surprise because head coach Ty Streets has done an outstanding job coaching this ball club. They love, the players love playing for them, and it's evident in that 11-1 record. Now, they're dominated by a senior backcourt. Sam Taylor the third, Patrick Rucker. They really control the pace of the game. Now, if they can be able to control the tempo of this game tonight and prove to everyone once again, they are the best team in the South Suburbs. Let's talk about these Thunderbirds. They have been waiting for this game for a long, long time. And Cameron, certainly bragging rights on the line. But as far as the conference goes, Thornton is undefeated. Thornwood with just one conference loss. So this is huge. Yes, it is. It's a major opportunity for the Thunderbirds to get a win inside the comfort of their own gym. Now, we covered this team last season against St. Rita in that Eisenhower sectional semi. They pushed the Mustangs to the brink, didn't get the win, but they returned a lot of talent from last year's team. They need to control the backcourt matchup against Thornton tonight. If they can do that and also win the rebounding battle, then they'll earn some respect tonight. Here's Hussey with those two fouls. Wow, he answers at the other end. Speak about finishing with contact. First the crossover move, and then getting to the lane to finish with the contact is Hussey. Twenty-nine, twenty-three. Wildcats by six. Steal. In the open floor and laying it in is Donnell Martin. How about Donnell Martin? We've seen so many players in this game come in. As soon as they check into the game, they make an impact, whether it's defensively and or offensively. That lets us know that they are cut in. They've been paying attention to the scouting report, and they're producing. Three-pointer. Tolbert. That's no good. Tracked down in the corner by Smith. Nice pass. Quickly ahead to Hussey. Hussey, alley-oop to Evan. Oh, my. Here's another look at the alley-oop from Hussey to Evan. And it was all eye contact. Watch your head <laughs> down there. My goodness. That ball, it was placed perfectly. Yes, it was. And Donnell Martin didn't even see Drew Evans on the opposite wing. You see Drew Evans saying, hey, let's go. Let's wake this crowd up. Let's wake our team up so we can take this lead. Three minutes gone by here in the third. Oh, a beautiful reverse. A little bit of English on that one by Dilworth, and he got fouled. Look at this play. Poor closeout by the Thunderbirds, and Dilworth just goes right past him. A little hang time, a little reverse, pat the chest. Yeah, I'm feeling good right now. Look at this. It's Evans on Taylor. That's the matchup you want to see. 
Taylor takes it all the way, leans in a little bit, count the bucket and a foul. Well, that's the leadership I talked about in our open, Mark. I love his ability to lead, not just vocally, but through his action, using the ball screen, and knows that Mackey is a little slow-footed when trying to guard him, uses his body to create the contact, and completes the three-point play. That is a senior, ladies and gentlemen, doing big things. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of air times, or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.